Thank you. Senator Young. Thank, thank you, Chairman. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Becerra, welcome. Uh, it's good to see you again. Mr. Secretary, HHS can and must play a critical role in advancing access to innovative medical technologies. I know you agree. But the reality today is that many medical technologies authorized by the FDA face significant barriers in securing Medicare coverage. This prevents patient access to uh, key medical innovations. I'm encouraged by CMS's work last year on releasing the long-awaited proposal, Transitional Coverage for Emerging Technologies, or TSET. This would establish criteria for an expedited coverage pathway to provide Medicare beneficiaries with faster access to innovative and beneficial technologies. We're now waiting on a final TSET notice, which we thought would be finalized by end of last year. I, along with uh, a number of my Senate colleagues, sent a letter to CMS asking for TSET to be finalized as soon as possible so that patients don't have to continue experiencing delays and barriers in accessing innovative and often life-saving medical technologies. Uh, Secretary Becerra, given that roughly seven months has passed since the TSET comment period ended, can you assure us that CMS will issue the final TSET policy yet this spring or early summer? Uh, Senator, thank you for the question and for the work you've done on this particular issue. Um, and by the way, I, I hope that we continue to work this because we're talking about the new frontier when it comes to medicine. And so we're trying to make sure we do it the right way. Obviously, there are, are, are many eyes that are placed on these new proposals. What I can uh, commit to you is to make sure that we get this out as quickly as we can. Uh, we got to get it right because we want to make sure people have access to the medicines. When, when do you estimate, uh, surely you have an estimate of, of, of the time period, right? Would, would spring be realistic or early summer? I, I wish, Senator, honestly, I wish I could say yes, but I, I want to be, I want to be honest with you that the process doesn't move always as quickly as as one would expect. Um, again, this is not dealing with something we've, you know, a movie. This is not a movie we've seen over and over again. This is new stuff. We got to get it right. What What is uh, for those who are watching care a lot about it, this issue, which is many of my constituents. Um, what 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 is the holdup, so to speak? Why is this taking longer than maybe they had expected? Because business people and innovators require certainty. Yeah. Uh, and um, what are you doing to try and manage some of those dynamics? First, we have to make sure that whatever we propose fits within the statutory prescriptions you gave us. So we can't go outside of it, and we don't want to be so narrow that it doesn't do everything you're asking us to do. And that, that takes a lot, because sometimes you, got, you all give us specificity in the, in the legislation. Sometimes it leaves us somewhat open, and we have to interpret. Secondly, we have to make sure that everything we do at the end of the day will be done in the interest of the patients who will be receiving the medications and therapies. And finally, we have to make sure that whatever we do, we have to be able to look around the corner to make sure that what we're doing isn't impacting something else where we might end up in court and everything gets delayed because we're in court. Thank you. So stepping back, uh, how does HHS plan to address a broader, uh, at least perceived disconnect between the pace of innovation and um, outdated pathways? I think that's always a dynamic that yeah. we're going to be dealing to some extent, but yeah. closing that window will save lives and improve lives immeasurably. So what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, And remember, as you know, we're working with two different standards that take really are at play here. FDA has a standard before a drug can hit the market. Right. FDA has to say it's safe and it's effective. Then you have a different standard with uh, Medicare and CMS has to make a determination, not a safe and effective, but a reasonable and necessary. Two different standards. And so drug gets out because FDA says it's safe yes. and effective. It doesn't automatically mean Medicare covers it. So you've, you've struck on sort of the inherent challenge that we're going to be dealing with probably on a going forward basis unless we change the standards statutorily. But from a management perspective, how are you trying to uh, minimize uh, that uh, delay? And that's where we get into the rules and why have they have, haven't they come out as quickly as you'd like? Because we have to make sure we're not <laughs> overstepping our bounds. Okay. And we could use your help because yes. 
the, the more you all direct us, the better we can move and faster. If you have thoughts on, on how we can do that, um, because you have an army of internal experts, yeah. Surely they have some ideas about how we might consider optimizing the process. Uh, I would welcome those. I will take up the invitation. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Well, I'll look forward to working with you on that. And um, as, as I come to uh, the end of my time, I'll just uh, ask you, I, there, there's a... Um, Patient listening sessions, I could itemize some of the challenges. This is associated with uh, the Inflation Reduction Act, CMS held a number of patient listening sessions. Wouldn't surprise me if you anticipated a question about this uh, in your hearing, but suffice it to say that um, they were not perceived by participants to have been uh, particularly helpful. In fact, they created the impression because of their design uh, that uh, they would, uh, uh, that they weren't intended to really uh, gather a lot of uh, information. So what are your plans to improve the process so that patient concerns with the IRA changes are fully heard and addressed? Uh, Senator, here I'll uh, again offer to take your guidance. If you know of uh, any particular concerns that are being raised, we'd love to hear them. We I'll submit them. I'll submit them Please. to you. There's an itemization. Time doesn't permit the ability to unpack the about okay. 10 concerns. Yeah, yes. and we try to reach out, but our, our funds are limited on doing that type of outreach. Most of our money has to be spent on actually doing something, but we are always looking for ways to try to get feedback from patients. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you, Thank Chairman. You.